Hey Outlaws, how's it going man? Hope you all are crushing it and doing well in Red Dead and in this video I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks for new players and returning players that are trying to get their feet back up under them in the Red Dead Online world. But before I get into that man, if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Continue to help us grow. Also hit that notification bell so you alert it the next time that I drop a new video. Now that that's out of the way, man let's get right into it. All right, if you are brand spanking new players, <laughs> you're gonna be spawned into a town, hope most likely Rose, that's the, the town that I like to spawn you in the most. Um, but if you're spawned into a town, the first thing that you need to do is turn on defensive mode. And you just hit the, the left D-pad, go all the way down to online options, go down to play style, and you see it say defensive or offensive, click defensive, hit circle back out back out and then you'll get a little note that says you know defensive mode is activating in 30 seconds and then it'll activate and it'll give a little um a ring when it's activated defensive mode gives you a little bit of a protection from other players that are playing pvp because nobody knows um that you're not playing pvp um all they see is a little blue dot but if you have defensive mode on they can't see you until they are close to you and th your dart is a little bit darker you know it's not the bright blue is a little bit darker so that indicates that you are um, in defensive mode and they cannot lock on to you <laughs> so they have to really aim at you to lock on um, to hit you but they can't auto lock on you if you have offensive mode on they can auto lock on you and boom you'll be dead and wondering what happened I was just spawning in I've only been in the world for five seconds that are dead so one of the first things you want to do with special new players, turn on defensive mode. That'll help you be able to get through the game and get the bearings in the game without having to worry about the PvP. And when you're ready to jump into PvP, then you can turn it off and get right into the Wild Wild West. When you're jumping right into the game, you want to make sure that you complete the main mission first. The main mission gives you the most XP period hands down starting out so you want to make sure that you're just knocking those out of the way so you can get all that abundance of XP to level up as fast as possible so focus on don't get too distracted on the side missions focus on maxing out the story mode so you can get all that XP and then once you maxed out and you finish the story mode and you got all of that XP then you can go into the roles and start getting more XP to continue to level yourself up Another, another thing that you should do first, especially new players, is move your camp either near Emerald Ranch or McFarland's Ranch because they're low population. So when you're trying to get into the Emerald Ranch area, you want to set up camp near the Heartlands. Again, all of this is pretty low populated um, until you get to like Valentine. That's heavy populated, but the rest of it is low populated, especially over here by Emerald Ranch. Or you want to go down Higgins Steed because again this is all low populated you won't run into many players but it's still a good great population of hunting so you can get a lot of animals and you don't got to worry about other people you know hunting and killing off the population before you can get to them and it'll put you around this place close to Armadillo more likely close to McFarland's Ranch and sometimes near Thieves Landing again it's all low populated but a good amount of hunting the problem with the Populated areas is when you start up is that everyone's there so everybody's hunting so it's harder for you to get those animals because everybody's you know killing them and when they respawn they're killing them again so this will make it a little bit easier for you to hunt and move around in these low populated areas so first thing you want to do well second thing you want to do is move to one of these low populated areas. One of the first roles that you want to do and you want to complete is the collector role because you get a lot of great perks and bonuses from completing the, the the collector role. The collector role gives you a um, a sample kit with kit which allows you to hold more samples um, and increase your bags um, once you max out those perks. So you want to. That's one of the first ones that you want to do because then it makes it easier for you to max out the others because you have all those benefits from the collector role. And what you want to do to max out the collector role, you want to focus on the tarot cards. Once you get to a close to a tarot card, your controller will start vibrating. You can put on your eagle eye. And you'll see the little fireflies and it'll lead you right to the card. And you collect it. Boom. 
and they're 14 in the set and once you get a complete set you want to go to Madame Nazar and sell her the whole set do not sell them individually because you won't get the most for your money you want to sell them in complete set to her because you'll get the most money and the most XP and focusing on the tarot cards is the fastest way to max out the collector role okay when you're working on a naturalist role I know the biggest pain especially when you're new is like how can I still hunt because I still need to hunt I still need to to eat to survive but I can't kill any animals because Harriet will pepper spray me well you can't and here's the way you just want to use your lasso to catch animals Okay, once you've caught them, you just want to take your time and wheel them in. You don't want to pull it real quick because then they'll get loose. Take your time, pull them real slow, and then you'll see the little killer come up. And then you can hit kill. And see nothing from Harriet. So normally, if you shoot them, you'll get a little note from Harriet at the top that says... She knows you're killing animals, she's going to pepper spray you. But see, that's nothing because it's considered like a mercy kill. So this is how you can still hunt and do the natural's roll at the same time. Just use your lasso, rope them, knife kill them, and you'll be good. Also, when you're doing the natural's roll, the easiest stamp to get is the farmland stamp. So you want to make sure you come to Emerald Ranch because all of the farmland animals are pretty much in these pens. So you'll get the most of them in this area. See the cows and bulls in there. And then you can hear that they're, they're sheep. So you can come in, sedate all these animals. And when you sedate them, you want to make sure that you're going over the fence, not through the gate. Because once you start shooting, if the gate's open, they're going to run out. So you just want to go over the gate, um, sedate them, get the samples, and then move on to the next pen. This is definitely the easiest way to get the farmland stamp and max out the naturals roll. When you are working on the traitor roll and you're trying to max that out by donating the crypts to get XP. Everything that you donate gives you the same amount of XP. You don't get any more or any less for the size of the animal. So what you want to do is you really want to shoot down birds and get their feathers. Now most of the time they'll be flying around and you can get a couple. Or you can kill an animal like that one right there, leave it as bait, and birds or, um, and crows will come and try to eat it. And then you can shoot them and get the feathers from there. There we go. And you just pluck. And you pluck. And what's great about it is that you'll get two types of feathers. You'll get flight feathers and the bird feathers. And so you can go to Crips, donate those feathers. See, you'll get two flight feathers and two of the bird type feathers donate them and boom you are automatically getting 10 XP now it'll be 10 X 10 XP for the trader roll and your roll separately so you'll be getting 20 XP but you can max out on feathers so you selling him stacks of feathers you're gonna get an abundance of XP and be able to max out that trader roll a little bit faster when you're trying to max out the moonshine roll you want to focus on the weak moonshine all time because it's 30 minutes. The rest of them will take longer and you can get multiple runs done with the 30 minutes opposed to the 45 and 60 minutes. So you always want to make weak moonshine when you're trying to max out the moonshine roll. Mm. Also another important tip is before you get off your horse check your gun and make sure you have the right type of gun that you need for the job. The last thing you want to do is if, if you're doing a natural roll and then you just hop off because you're getting shot at or something and you hop off your horse and now you got the vomit rifle trying to uh, take somebody out, you're going to die because it has zero, <laughs> really zero. You got to hit them with like 20 bullets before it even affects them. So you want to make sure that when you're getting on and off your horse, especially when you're going in between rolls, that you have the right type of weapon that you need before you hop off the horse. Because once you hop off your horse, all you have is what's in your wheel. And one of the last tips I have for you is about your camp. You can do a lot from your camp. You can pay your bounties from your camp. You can buy supplies through the catalog, get them shipped to you to your camp so you don't have to go to the post office. Um, I think a lot of new players, once they get in, think they got to go to the post office to get all the supplies. No, you can get it right from your camp in your lockbox. Anything that you purchase, when you go to the lockbox, if you have bounties, you see it will say pay bounty or collect deliveries. And so anything that you buy will be in your lockbox. It will ship to your lockbox. And once it's there, it will say it's there. So you can 
get your supplies, get ammo, everything you need out of the catalog. You can get it shipped to your to your camp, and you can pay your bounties from your camp. And also, most importantly, you want to make sure that you're always, always cleaning your guns. Now, you don't have to go to the blacksmith to clean your guns. Um, and as you see, the, once it gets red, then it starts affecting how much damage your, your gun does and how it operates. So you want to make sure that you're always checking your gun and guns, especially the ones that you use the most, and you're cleaning your guns to make sure that you don't have any trouble when they're putting out the max amount of damage that you need them to put out. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I filled it with a bunch of uh, tips and tricks to help all the new players and returning players get their bearings back up under them and join in when they rejoin the Wild Wild West. And any veteran players, if there's any tips that I missed, feel free to throw them in the comment section below. It's all about helping people get the best start in Red Dead Online. So that's it, man. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was helpful, do me a favor, man, and hit that subscribe button join the community continue to help us grow also hit that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoy this type of content so they shoot out the others who enjoy this type of content as well and do me one more big favor man hit that notification bell so you'll alert the next time that I drop a new video that's it guys I try to give you all the facts and no fluff and I catch you all on the flip side